Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 4. We're taking out Czechoslovakia. Uh, it doesn't seem to be proving too terribly hard. We're leaving it up to the AI on battle plan mode, so hopefully it'll be pretty easy. It looks like we're closing in on Prague without too much difficulty here. Uh, hopefully the, the state will fall once we get Prague. Hoping at least. And we created the pocket we were looking for. Great. Actually, the secondary pocket performed here of just one Czechoslovakian divot, the sixth Czech, Czech division. And we got a military factory free. Oh, looks like it got used up for something. Never mind. Uh, so far, I'm a little disappointed in air power. It seems a little weak to me. Uh, planes don't really get shot down very easily or very quickly. Are you guys not going to reduce it? It's like, seriously, why are you only pushing from this side? You got divisions all over the place. Okay, let's let's manually control. They're not gonna they're not gonna crush this one. Right, there we go. See, there you go. And they're other than the AI is moving them out of there. I think. All right, I thought it was. Uh, most of my, you know, I had a lot of little complaints about Stellaris uh, that were mostly based around. Um, Kind of the game getting boring, boring, and a couple of UI problems. This most of the things I've, I've noticed about this that I'd like to see uh, done differently are um, balancing issues. I think balancing air powers. I, I love that you don't have to micromanage air. Everybody who's been watching my channel for any length of time knows that micromanaging air power was something that I absolutely despised doing. I absolutely hated it. Uh, I, it was just to the point where I just wouldn't use my Air Force because I was sick of constantly micromanaging it. That, there's an American division in there. Garrison, American uh, garrisons. But yeah, we're going to take them out here. So we'll just, well, why don't we just watch the Battle of Prague here? I like that the modifiers, um, well, the actual numbers, update on the fly. Love that. Uh, because it's like if a battle's not going your way, it's really easy to zoom in there and see what the problem is. If it's uh, equipment problems, weather problems, terrain, you know, whatever it might be, it's really easy to see what it was. It looks like the probably I think that's that American division that was in there. That's let's see, you're gonna see. I love how the the Czechoslovakian forts are actually modeled on here. That's cute. Uh, we are gonna decline them because we don't need it. Poland's our ally. All these people are our allies, so we're good here. Good. Uh, how far are we? Oh my god, France. Jesus Christ. Get the stick out of your ass. Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm not interested in their combat capability. I'm only interested in their um, their suppression. So, You guys are going to go to garrison mode, and you know what would make a whole lot of sense? If you could overlay resistance mode, oh god, resistance map mode over the deployment, that would be amazing because that would, it would just make a lot of sense. So what we're just going to do is I know that, oh, or maybe if it, if can accidentally click on an airport. So I believe this is what we're looking at in terms of rebel suppression. So let's t put, pop up uh, resistance map mode, watch the MPs go out. Uh, they should start suppressing once their organization gets up. In theory, maybe. Got more factories to work with, Czechoslovakian ones. Resistance over there is probably pretty negligible, considering there's like two armies sitting on top of it. Alrighty. Good. Um, why don't we also start getting some anti aircraft guns done? Three factories on anti aircraft guns. I, I, I'm mostly interested in like building up a little bit of practical knowledge on tanks. Um, they're not, these guys aren't going to be terribly useful, but we'll have them. Uh, that's good. Three. 
Let's leave that there. Let's bring let's bring that up to five. Five, two. Let's bring one more in there. Get my get more planes. I like I I I gotta say I do love the way the Air Force is managed now. Ugh. I just don't love that it's um, a little weak. Planes don't do a lot of damage. Um, you know the air superiority thing. The planes don't get shot down a lot. It's just a little little bit on the boring side. Grouping, close air support, armor, armor reception, army logistics. Let's grab logistics. That'll be very useful in the coming coming years. Uh, I don't see if I know. I, I I don't know if I see them doing anything. Oh, that one just changed. All right, why don't we? That's off. So they shouldn't be. Ugh, God, that that's got to be a bug. Like they should not be redeploying right now. They should not be doing it because it's on off. But they still do it. I don't like that. And give them a crappy commander. Skill level one. Off modal. Okay, so focus. We're gonna get army innovation two. Start that going. All right. Except that. Now, I think that their suppression is linked to their organization. I think? So them moving around on... What's it called mode? On the strategic early redeploy mode? Strategic redeployment? I think that's actually hurting. I mean, they're making a little... They are helping a little bit. I wonder, is there any way to... So the resistance is huge. Local uh, resistance effect, local supplies. Yeah, it's, it's really low. I think it costs local fed. What, what's making it go up? State occupation, awesome uh, modifiers, resistance support. I don't know. I honestly don't know how, uh, what what really affects it. No, we don't need you. We're we getting a backlog of guns here. We're starting to. And as soon as, again, as soon as we can re uh, deploy these guys, we're going to. We don't necessarily need them to have a lot of uh, experience because they're not in combat units; they're suppression units. And we're gonna dump. We're, we're gonna dump the ball into France. I hate to think the, that I would actually need. Can I do all of them? Play all lines and stuff. Like that. that way, we need 20 MP divisions in France to to do it correctly. Low manpower. It is a little low, but we can we could we could fix that. And with more of them in there, they move around less, which is good. Oh, that's there. Yeah. I think it's linked. I think their suppression is linked to their organization. High organization means high suppression. Um, and them bouncing around like that was being was causing problems. It's like one or two per state does the trick. It's like France needs an entire MP army to garrison it correctly. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Let's, if we, let's see, let's grab this guy. He could use more. Eh, I don't know what to do there. Just kind of second guessing myself here and there a little bit. So we got that going. Oi, look at all the damage. Look at all the damage in France. And it's still, it's still popping, uh, popping off. See what can we do. We have a war economy already. Um, right now we're on limited exports. We might want to close the economy uh, because we don't. We need all this stuff for myself mostly. But I think we're good right now. I'm um, on limited conscription. I can bump it, bump it up to extensive to get more men. But I think actually that might be a good idea. 2.5 million now. Okay, that's that's better. Yeah, we we brought an extra two million men in. And is this Czechoslovakian art tank actually a... T yeah, it is. I was about to say, that's actually a combat unit. So the Czechs fell. How's the resistance looking in France? Mostly taken care of, but there's, it's still problematic over here. We're going to want to have one over here, too. What I'll probably do is maybe, you know, make these garrison armies. And then I, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to need a full 24 in, in France to properly garrison it. Uh, and maybe, like, six over here. Okay. 
maybe it's because the, there was some, yeah, it's because, um, looks like the Soviet Union and Italy is trying to take out Fran France, but the, the French communists are, oh yeah, it makes sense, French communists, of course you know, the Soviet Union's gonna help the French communists, that makes sense. We've taken a hit to a bunch of our factories, it looks like. We've got 183 factories now, that is a few. I don't really care too terribly much about their training. Uh, I'm going to take four of these. Oh. I'm not sure why holding shift deselects. Um, I, I'd rather grab the ones I do want. That seems a little backwards to me, but that's no big deal. Uh, and these six, um, I'll make an army. And you're going to garrison here and here. Should take care of that. Innovations two, excellent. Yep, those are the two I wanted. Uh, that should have been Panzer Kampfwagen three. Oh, fish, that, that's on Panzer three, Panzer four, Panzer five, Panther, and whatever the Sondkrofs thingy is. Molotov ribbon dropped the pack. Alliance with you, <laughs> unholy alliance. Uh, let's see here. So we're gonna go with tactical. I think. Uh, where are we on research? Just about two weeks away from finishing wolf packs and maintenance companies. That's good. And I, we should have the res. Oh no, uh, there's, it's still problematic. I mean, I, they, they do. They are in charge of those areas. They just don't have. They don't have a single person in that state. They lost five here, I see. Yep. Actually. That's going that's going well. Do we have any more submarines anywhere? I feel like we should have been popping some off. Those are twenty-one ships. DD CLs. Shouldn't we be constructing some? Oh, there's there they are. Oh shit, I thought I could get them. They might not have the range to get out here. No, they do. Alright, so what we're gonna do is that. Can't believe the type I didn't think the type 2As would be able to get out that far. Luther Leutens. Okay, go out there, do your thing. More submarines. We're building them faster than we're losing them, which is good. That's true. So they're still they're still being dicks. But it looks like we've definitely taken care of the situation for the most part. Oh, and what are we low on? Oh, tungsten. Ten. What happened there? I wonder if someone canceled one of our trade agreements. All right, let's um, create another theater. And we can do that by clicking here. And we're going to call this one the German MPs. What I'm gonna do is take uh, this one and just drag it. Okay, is it right click? Okay, it's not drag and drop, it's right click. Okay, there we go. German MPs. Okay, so that means that that kind of breaks them off there. Um, could probably. I don't know. Th this this army, the one that's garrisoning the coastline here, um, that's not exactly what I want garrisoning the coastline. It looks like I came across my submarine, so hopefully they'll get away. Pulling out, yeah, we're fine there. Oh, like I'd rather have garrison units on the coastline here. Lost through. August twenty third. Oh, that was a month ago. Lost three there. Lost three there. Lost four there. All right, so where are those submarines right now? That's these guys. Nope, that's not those guys. Um. Why are they in the English Channel if I told them that they don't have or orders to be in the English Channel? Huh. So we are going to go to tanks. These are going three. Get done twice as fast. Wolf packs are just about done. Boom. What do we got here? Advanced Submarine Warfare. 
Surface detection, rating organization, submarine organization, submarine defense. Sounds good to me. Keep on, keep that rating up. Um, I'm not exactly sure how much the rating has an effect on a nation like the United Kingdom's economy. Considering I've never actually played as the United Kingdom as of yet. How's our stockpile on guns looking? 100, 200, not that big. We can <laughs> tons of artillery. We're low on infantry equipment. Why are we low on infantry equipment? Are we upgrading? How do we get 8,000 in the hole? Ah, it's from these guys right here, I think. Well, I don't do we need this many more? Close air support, naval defense, food logistics, assault, bomber interception. Hmm. Armor. So it looks like Japan's doing poorly. Although it just it, it seems like when it comes to AI on AI battles, Japan is not up to the task of fighting China. I've never seen Japan win on its own. I've always seen China triumph, which I'm finding relatively interesting. All right, so what I, I'm thinking that Sea Lion is the next thing we want to do. All right, sorry about that. I got a call from work, and I do apologize if there's any audio sync issues after that little interruption there. Um, I accidentally paused the audio recording, but not the video recording, so I'm gonna have to manually sync that up, up later, and hopefully I can get it to a point where it's nice and right. Now, we've got a lot of air experience now, a lot of air experience, so I think, well, no, is that, that is air, so we've got a ton to work with. Why don't we th look into making a What do we want to do? I'm going to go to production. Um, we could do close air support. Or we can improve our fighters again. We can, we can incre uh, increase the variant on this. Make it even more reliable. Increase the range in weapons. So, doing anything reduces its reliability. A high reliability means we're not going to suffer a lot of accidents or anything. So, I'm going to think I'm going to go like this, and then, pro can I do, yeah. I think we're going to do that, 5322, and call that our, uh, one of our final variants on that. So, we're going to retool to um, the B variant, and they're going to start producing those ones. Uh, we also have some land organization if I want to. I have a lot of those Panzer twos in my army. You know what? Why don't we save it? Um, we're researching Panzer threes right now, and why don't we'll, we'll create the Panzer threes? Then we'll use the experience to we could immediately create a variant on the Panzer three to make it more efficient. Um, let's take off one. Yes, that's why I hit the button. Two, three, four, five of these. Let's do that. Uh, research slot available. Anything good over here? That's all 39 tech. So we're only a little we're only a little ahead on that. Air doctrines. Yeah, we could do that. And we're about to get another one. There it is. Computing machine. Encryption machine, decryption plus one. Encryption machine. Hmm. You get both of them. Let's do decryption. Let's do our. De let's do a decryption there. And what I'm thinking about is building some sort of specialized garrison unit um, to plop along like the coastlines. Might be a good idea. Uh, we do have a little bit of naval experience. Not very much, though. I mean, you get naval experience from fleet combat, but not so much from 
from raiding. What was the street of air innovations? Uh, jet technology research time, 50 minutes of radar technology, joint air research. So you gotta do. So if you wanna go down here, you gotta do both. Air innovations too, require strategic air inner. Oh, that's interesting. I guess I looked at that wrong. So that completely blocks these out? Requires rocketry. Requires air innovations too. Requires strategic air effort. You have to get the strategic air effort. No, no, no. It's a one of the five. Okay. I was about to say, that doesn't make sense. No, 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 I was just reading it wrong. Tooltip. I, sometimes I read those tooltips wrong. Never seem to have enough infantry equipment, do we? 89.3 per day. I mean, we are low on... Like, all the French factories are wrecked. Well, no, actually, they didn't touch the, fa the, the military factories too badly. Let's move that one back up to the top. And get it fixed up. See, let's 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 go back on that. Up on these, we're always going to need more more guns. And fighter, oh yeah, uh, the B variant. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm happy with that so far. Let's clear those out. No template, I know, but we're, we'll fix that. We could probably actually start fixing that now. Why don't we work on that? So regular infantry division. Um, it has support. It has artillery. It actually has support artillery as well. Manpower 300. Artillery pieces 24. This is manpower 500. Artillery pieces 36. Now we should be able to add in um, an anti-tank regiment as well, and an anti-air regiment as well. So we're going to plop those on there. Uh, make this a little more well-rounded. Maintenance company. Uh, I don't really feel like they need maintenance or MPs with them. So we're going to save that right there. Uh, that's going to mean my army needs a lot of these guns. Ace pilot promoted. Emil Brendel, skilled pilot known for the campaign of the Red Battle Flyer. Students are not only returning alive, but piloting his BF 109A. The men's skill recently. Emil is an emotional Renora Phantom is instrumental in the success of, of this critical encounter. A shining example of German courage. Emil's recent promotion has highly publicized people who is more. Okay. So why don't we Let's do this. Let's create a new new fighter wing. Right here. Um, let's let's see. Let's give him well that, that's one, that's all. Let's just give them all the fighters we have available. This this will be like a defense force. Uh, it'll get it'll get upgraded. I mean, it'll, it'll be flying crazy different variants right now, uh, and that's actually not big enough to hold it. So why don't we just scoot that down to 400 then? We'll put it on exactly 400. That'll be perfect. Set limit. There we go. Uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take care of northern France. We're going to do air superiority. Uh, who are you? Uh, why don't we send you down to southern France? Right there. Smaller group. And you are going to get the Red Battle Flyer, Emil, here. He's got attack speed, max air speed, and agility. So you're going to be in charge of defending the skies of northern France with your brand new 400 wing fighter group. Um, they're going to be flying mostly 109s. Oh, look at the air experience <laughs> creeping up, too. You get that real fast. Look at the... They're already taking losses, too. It must have been a large battle. Oof. Yeah. Active enemy fighters, 175. How long is it going to be till we can get Panzer threes? 76 days. You know what we're probably going to want to do is upgrade our current divisions to me. I mean, I'm not a big fan of light tank divisions. I'm a big fan of medium tank divisions. Um, we could either keep our medium tank divisions 
or, or keep our light tank divisions or upgrade them to medium tank divisions and have both. I'm not sure which I want to do. Good. And if I go to Navy... Lost ships. Okay, well, it tells us which ones we lost. I wish it would give us, like, a breakdown of, of what we've done so far. That'd be cool. Sortie efficiency, targeting port strikes, carrier overcrowding. Not really, not really much anything in there. I mean, as much as I want a sea lion, sea lion this early in the game is pretty suicidal. Naval invasions are really poor until you get better tech. That's still air. Yeah, that air stuff creeps up real fast. I think it's probably northern France still. Oh, if we're down to 278 of 400, yeah, they're, they're sorting over France a lot. But we're still managing to maintain air superiority here. Alright, so that's good. We're down 141 planes. Radar might be good. I mean, we can start building it in northern France, I think. Uh, that would be... Which map mode are we looking for here? Here we go. Radar stations allow to gain intel on enemy troops in nearby states. Higher level of radar increases the active range of the radar. They all surprise the state with better detection against the enemy over giving the planes better chance to engage them. So we could do like... I mean... Go like this. Just cover northern France with... With radar installations. How long will they... I mean, I'm assuming they take the same amount of time to build as anything else. Air innovations too. There we go, rocketry. We wanted that. I want to get that next research slot. And we're down on tungsten, right? All right, so tungsten can be found up here, I think. Ah, uh, where, where there, there's chromium, steel, tungsten. So we're doing, I don't never pronounce it right, Operation Vesserboom. Alright, and what we should probably actually do is make sure Czechoslovakia gets garrisoned correctly. So there aren't, uh, let's see, resistance. Yeah, it's starting to be, creep up a little bit here. So let's, let's just go boop, 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 and close these out. Uh, it's these Ah, uh, where are they? Where are they? Over here? Here. That's it. This is them. Uh, and what we're actually going to do is go here, add them to this one. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, what'd that do? That added them together? No, that's not what I wanted. Although, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Because uh, what we could do is this. Um, garrison area. Ah, oh, god damn it. I hate that. God damn it. No? What, what are we doing? What are you doing? What is going on here? Why are we telling him to move instead of... Okay. Apparently, it, oh, did it delete all of his orders? God damn it! All right, sometimes the battle planner is more m more frustrating than it's worth. Basically, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna give them all to this guy, and then give all these areas, uh, all this Czechoslovakia. Wow, Czechoslovakia had more individual states than I thought it did. Not Czechoslovakia there. It's former. Okay, so we're just at garrison all that stuff. 
And, um, you don't really need a commander, you're just garrisons. Alright, so, what's that? Do your thing. Move around wherever you need to be. So what are we doing here? Thirty MP divisions. Ugh, yeah. Second, second, I told them to leave. Stuff started getting damaged again. Thirty MP divisions to garrison Czechoslovakia, France, and the Netherlands seems okay to me. All right, I think we're gonna leave this here. Trying to trying to bumble my way through all this stuff. Uh, before we go, let's say that's that's this guy here. Uh, offensive line. What I want you to do is come here, and then when you're done, you go there. Apparently that was, well, what we could do is this. Oh, um, like that. There we go. Half go there, half go there. That's, that should be fine. Uh, and then we'll go on Copenhagen. Uh, so, everybody, if you have enjoyed this episode, please just drop me a like, leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays, Hearts of Iron 4, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.